today, the earth stood still. In London, and Paris, and Lisbon, and Stockholm, and Berlin, in cities great and small, in grand public squares, in offices and shops, in schools, everything stopped. In places where they too have suffered the pain of death by terrorism, in Belfast, in Lockerbie. And amidst the broader outpouring of sympathy, poignant gestures, these are firefighters in Budapest, saluting their fallen colleagues far away. These are stockbrokers in London. Until today, the words and gestures of support around the world had been largely official and diplomatic. Today, it got personal. We're devastated. It's absolutely tragic. And the sense of tragedy wasn't the only sentiment that was being shared with Americans. Well, one's initial reaction is to just go and nail the bastards. Excuse the language. The unity had another extraordinary expression today at St. Paul's Cathedral in London where the star-spangled banner began an emotionally charged memorial service. The Queen attended and the great and the good of official London, but so did thousands of others, many Americans, many not. And thousands more outside jammed the streets around the cathedral. It was as close to America as you could get, especially if you couldn't get home. You feel helpless being here because you can't, and not that there's much we could do at home, but it just, it's just difficult. They prayed in their multitudes in London and in Berlin, or they prayed alone, the Pope at his retreat outside Rome. Governments paused here too. Politicians stopped their arguments from Helsinki to Brussels. The European Union's leader, Romano Prati, summed it up. In the darkest days of history, he said, America stood close by us, and today we stand close by America. And everyone here knows what that means. Our objective will be to bring to account those who have organized, aided, abetted, and incited this act of infamy, and those that harbor or help them have a choice either to cease their protection of our enemies or be treated as an enemy themselves. But it was the people who spoke loudest in their silence and in Warsaw in song. The liberties now threatened by terrorism are nowhere more appreciated than in Eastern Europe. The final word of the day, though, may have been uttered by a woman in Paris. Today, she said, we are all Americans. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London.